Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this tutorial, I want to cover how we can allow our player to move their mouse around and aim towards an object. And then in the demo here, we're going to be able to shoot the object or click with our mouse to have a bullet come out of our gun. Now, what I have in front of me is a small demo that I put together to show off what we're going to be building. A lot of these mechanics are already going to be built into the project, so I'm not going to be going over them, but if you're a Patreon subscriber, you'll be able to download the full project source code. Now, you can see in this demo, we already have some animations, such as an idle, and we have our shooting animation. We also have a reload animation. So what we're going to be covering is letting our character, you can see, spinning around because I'm moving the mouse. And whenever we, say, hold down the left mouse button, we're going to shoot our gun until we run out of bullets. And you can see I can't shoot anymore. I can click. Nothing's happening. I have to reload my gun, and then I can move it back around and, once again, just start shooting the, the boxes. So that's what we're going to be covering. So let's actually switch to an unfinished project and start working. So we have our project in front of us. I'm not going to go over a lot. We have some sprites, uh, a couple scripts here. One of the scripts I use a lot is the enumerator script here. I just hold all of my state machines in there. Then we have our objects and we have a simple room. So I want to make sure that we have our sources here. This is where you can find the art that we're going to be using in this tutorial. So if I run the game right now, uh, we should be able to move our cursor around, but our player will not look at that cursor. We can't fire our gun, but we can definitely, we can walk around and we cannot reload anything. So let's dive right in by making our player look at the cursor. This is going to be the easiest thing that we do in this tutorial. If we open up our object character and let's actually go to the step event, you can see right here I have a region already for mouse look. In order to get this happening, all we have to do is change the image angle so the angle or we should say rotation of our character and the sprite itself so game maker has a built-in variable called not image alpha but image angle and what we want to do is use a command called point direction point direction will take a location x and y and then point it at the other location that you give it for instance we're going to be using our characters x and y position and what we want to use is the mouse x and mouse y position so now our character is going to turn towards our mouse now the one thing to keep in mind is all of our characters you can see here are facing to the right and that is because zero degrees is going to be right and 90 is going to be up so we have to make sure that all of our sprites are facing to the right and once we do that you can see that i can move my cursor around and i can still move around and now he will point towards my mouse cursor the next thing, let's actually handle the reloading of the character, or I should say reloading of the gun. In the create event, let's see if we have it already in here. So we have a couple variables. We have the clip and the bullet. So this is what we're going to be using to tell if we can reload the gun. And we also have a key for reloading. So once again, in the step event, let's just scroll down and you can see that I have a region for reloading. So what I want to do is I want to first check to see if the keyboard has been pressed for the reload key. And then I want to check the number of bullets that we have to see if I can actually reload. So we'll say if keyboard check and we want to use press and let's use the key underscore and reload. And remember, this is a variable that we made. So once I've pressed the reload key, I need to make sure that I actually am missing some bullets. So I could say if the bullets that I have, which is gun bullets, is less than the clip amount, then and only then can I switch my state to be player states and I want reloading. Now I've set up these states earlier, but this is just something that you can follow. Now when we are reloading our gun, we want to make sure that we start at the first index of our sprite so we'll say image underscore index sorry image underscore index is equal to zero because what we don't want to have happen is if we are in our say our idle state and we get to this frame here we don't want to all of a sudden be in the reload frame and start at eight it just doesn't look very good so we want to make sure that we start at the first frame which is index zero now, all we have to do is if we scroll all the way down, we have our state machine here. And when we are reloading, this is where we're going to have to put the animation code itself. And this is actually pretty simple. So we could just say the sprite underscore index equals SPR 
character and we want the reload sprite and we're going to be using animation so our image speed will be set to one and now all we have to do is we have to check to see whether or not this frame has finished or i should say this animation has finished so we can say if the image index is bigger than the image number minus one so this means if the current index of our sprite if the current frame is bigger than the number of frames that we have in total well then all we want to do is we want to reset the guns bullets so we'll say gun underscore bullets equals gun underscore clip so we've reloaded our entire clip and our state can go back to player state idle so we'll fill in idle here and let's see i think that's it the only other thing that we do is a little bit decision here but we don't really need to get into that let's try this out let's hit reload or sorry run the game and we should be able to hit r and our animation takes place and we've reloaded those bullets so the only thing we really have left to do is going to be shooting those bullets so just like before in the step event we already have down here a region for shooting now in the create event i don't have any keys for shooting that's because i'm going to be using the left mouse button but what i do have is a variable called can shoot and then basically a cooldown so every shot can go at 0.32 of my room speed so if my room speed is set to 60 it'll be 0.32 of 60 and this alarm is actually going to be alarm zero now we're going to hook these all up in just a second so let's go to the step event first and inside the shooting region so the first thing we want to do because i'm using my mouse i'm going to check for the mouse button so i'll say if mouse underscore check button oops check button and i'm going to be looking for the mouse button of left so if i've pressed my left mouse button i want to make sure that there's a couple things i want to make sure that i am able to shoot so can shoot and the number of bullets that i have in my gun is bigger than zero and the current state does not equal the player state dot reloading because i don't want to shoot my weapon if i'm already reloading i want that reloading animation to finish once these once this has happened i could say can shoot it's equal to false because we're going to fire a bullet my state can now be player state and we're going to be using the shooting state that i have here and i'm going to subtract one of the bullets from my gun so gun underscore bullets minus equals one and finally i want to set the alarm so i'll say alarm set and i'm going to be using alarm zero here and i'm going to set it to the shot underscore cooldown so and remember the room speed times 0.32 i believe i have it set is going to fire this alarm now once the alarm runs what i want to do is just I'm going to have it so the player can shoot again so i could say can shoot equals true now we're not done quite yet even though we are going to be running the animation we still need to create a couple effects and we also need to create the bullet themselves so I've done a little bit of math and I could say the length of X is 105 and the length of Y is 105. So basically all I've done here is I've looked at my characters and I've decided that from the anchor point here or the origin going all the way over is going to be 105 pixels. So if I were to draw a circle, the circle will come just before the gun and go all around. So basically what I want to do is take, I'm going to be making the bullet appear at the start of this gun here. And this is what the length Y and length X is. Now what I need to do is I need to use a function called length dir x and we'll talk about this in one second. We'll just say our x position is going to be x, so our current object, which is our character, plus length dr x, and I'm going to be using the length of x and our image angle. And I'll just copy this in and I will use the y components. So I'll say length there y equals length y and the image angle. Now, if I go to the draw event here, and let's see, I have debug. If it's a variable, I'll set it to true. So what's going to happen is we're going to draw a circle, and let's set this to 105 at the x and y position of our character. Hopefully, I filled in the 
code so we don't have any errors. But you can see that right there at 105, we have this green circle that goes around our character. So this is where the bullet is going to appear when I shoot my gun. And that's what the length X and length Y will be. If I were to increase that to say 150 and I run my game, obviously the green circle is going to be a lot larger, but that is where the bullet will appear. Now, I will set this back to 105, and I will turn off debug and go back into the step event. So now that we have the position of X and the position of Y along the circle that we just talked about, let's do a couple things. First, let's create the flash, or I guess the pew, pew variable. So we'll say var pew equals, and we are gonna say instance create layer at the X and the Y position. We want it on the effects layer, and we are going to say object underscore effect pew. So this is just going to make the word uh, pew, and you can look at if I have effects here and I load it up, it's just that word. So it's going to create that object for us, and all we really need to do is say the pew dot image angle equals our current character's image angle. And what we can do is we can copy these two lines here and let's paste them in and let's change this to bullet. So instead of pew, we'll say bullet. And once again, we'll say bullet down here. And if we go over here, instead of creating the object effect of pew, we'll say object underscore bullet. And we can leave it on the effects, but let's put it on the instances layer. And the only other thing that we have to do is we can set the image angle for the bullet, but we also need to set the image sorry the bullet direction now the reason we're doing the direction is because if we load up the bullet object you can see that right in the create event we're adding the word speed equals 30 so speed is a built-in variable and based off of the direction of the object it will travel in either that direction 0 to 360 degrees so I'm not setting anything but the direction here and just making sure that the angle is correct all right, now let's see here. The only other thing we need to do is the shooting itself. So this is just a simple state. So we could say we set the sprite index to SPR character. And we want the shoot one. We're gonna be animating, so our image speed equals one. And we also wanna make sure that once we've shot, so meaning that the frames have finished, so we'll copy this. Once our animation has finished, we'll set our state back to player states and we want to go back to idle so once we shoot we'll go back to the idle state let's test everything and see how we did now once our game has loaded up i can look around i can reload let's try a shot you can see that one of the bullets is down and i can keep shooting we get that cool effect and once i get to my let's see seven bullets one two three four five six seven i cannot shoot anymore no matter how much i click that button until i reload and like i said a lot of these mechanics such as hitting the boxes and those effects as well as the cursor is already in here but that is it hopefully you learned a thing or two and hopefully you've had some fun making this i think it's a very cool project and definitely check out the sources as they have some enemies that you can put in there and you can play around with it it's really awesome thanks if you like this video and like to see more of them please support me on patreon and don't forget to subscribe on youtube a special shout out goes to jg gust one paul and wayne as well as the anonymous supporters on patreon thank you all